Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing. You can follow my personal social media at Adriana underscore sports. Enjoy. <laughs> Okay, Jerry. Hold on. Right. No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. I need to make sure I look good. <laughs> All right, we're on. All right. First question is for Joe Lee. Congratulations, Jake. You've now beaten two YouTubers, a professional athlete in Nate Robinson, now a professional MMA fighter in Ben Askren. Is the next logical step for you to fight a professional boxer? Uh, I don't know, man. I'm going to do whatever I want, honestly. I feel like I'm living in a dream right now. And honestly, I, I don't think I'm going to be doing good at these interviews right now because I've had so much on my mind in the past 10 days and I've had to hold it together. I've had to persevere through a lot of hard shit, allegations, death. <clears throat> The list goes on, and I don't, I don't know what's next for me, man. I've been going for 14 months, fighting three times. I talked a lot of shit. Look, I don't know what's next, man. I, I'm, I'm going to just enjoy my life for a second. Next up, Euro under King. Now, Jake, we... Don't know what's next, but a lot of people have been calling you out in terms of fighting Joe Fourier earlier in the night, Dylan Dennis, and also uh, Tyron Woodley in the corner of Ben Asker in the night. I know you don't know what's next in terms of the things that have happened in your life recently, but could you pinpoint any one of these carriers in this? I honestly don't even know who those people are. And please don't ask me any dumb questions. Next up, Dona Corby. Jake, uh, congratulations on a great result. Uh, after the fight, you were clearly very emotional in, uh, in the ring. Of course, like you mentioned, an insane uh, 10 days. Obviously, the, the passing of Shadow clearly affected you throughout the week. Could you talk to us about... Uh, about that moment, uh, just yourself on your knees in the ring? Look, when Shadow passed away, it was, uh, it was one of the weirdest, difficult things I had to deal with in my life. I, I still haven't processed it. I still haven't dealt with it. It's, it, it, I, I just, it's hard, man. It's hard. And I had to hold it together as a, as a warrior for my team and focus on the mission ahead. And Shadow told me the whole entire time, he said, you're going to get him in the first round. I've had visions. I've had dreams. <clears throat> when you knock him out in the first round, we're going to get it tattooed. And I had to suppress all my mo emotions. I had to stay focused. When I got the W... I, it just, it just all sort of set in, and this one is is truly for him, man. Th this guy is a legend, it, and he had my back twenty four seven, and uh, I wish he was here to experience this moment with me, man. And that that's sort of why it's, it's just surreal. I I feel like my life is a movie. I can't believe it. I, f I feel like I'm dream dreaming right now. <clears throat> and I know he's watching down right now. And he's like, I, I got your fucking back for the rest of your life, brother. And I, I don't know what to say. Like, 
it's been hard for all of us. Uh, for real. Felt his energy. He gave me goosebumps right before the fight. And rest, rest in peace, Shadow. Forever he will live. Forever he will be there protecting me. And man, like, this is just surreal. This is, this is history in the making. <clears throat> Next up, Hans Demistode. Hey, what's going on? Um, so I know that um, I know that you expected to um, not been out in the first round. Um, a lot of people expected you to win also. Um, but when you fought Nate Robinson um, and you took him out pretty easy, and then you fought Ali Ally at some give, so you took him out easily. Did you kind of expect the same thing with Aspirin? Where you know you thought you were gonna take him out with like one shot, or did you kind of expect him to just be at least a little more resilient? Um, I, I mean, I said it the whole time. I said this fight's gonna be easier than Nate Robinson, and no one believed me. Per usual, at one point I was the underdog as a betting favorite. I'm not gonna let y'all forget that. I was the underdog. <laughs> That sounds crazy, but I was the underdog. And I knew it was going to be easier because Nate Robinson was weird. He fought like like a random guy on the street. Like, I don't know. I knew Ben was going to sit there like a typical MMA fighter and just have no head movement. And his body was going to be wide open. And I'm just too powerful. The, the cows in Ohio – produce a different type of protein. And <laughs> when I'm sitting there bailing hay since a 10 year old, I just got some real thick shit in my arms. Next up, Michael Woods. <gasps> hey, that was a hell of a right hand you threw. Did you know, Jake, when you threw it, that it was going to have that level of impact and, did you set him up? Do you remember what happened in that uh, final sequence? I set him up for sure. I was going to the body the whole fight. I I was barely hitting him. My check hook was fucking him up. But I was setting him up the whole time. I was per I was saving the right hand uh, for, for, for that moment because I knew he wouldn't see it coming. And my coach in the corner was like, don't load up. Don't load up. <laughs> That's what he told me the whole camp. Don't load up. Don't load up. And I was like, this guy's a joker. This guy's a joker. I'm loading up right now, coach. Sorry. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it. Unfortunately, that's the last question. Yeah, guys, I'm out of fucking breath. I'm out of – my voice is gone. I need, like, four more shots. I love you guys. Thanks, everyone. Mm -hmm.